Hey everybody, I'm JJ. You're watching Reality Survival, and today I'm going to show you what progress we've made on the DIY solar generator. Um, this I started out with the box from um, the Bauer box from Harbor Freight. It was just barely too small. This one from this uh, what is it? Uh, is it Ryobi? I think something like that. I don't know where, yeah, I think it's Ryobi. Anyway, um, this one is just slightly bigger and it fits everything just about right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount the uh, inverter. It's a GM Bill 2200 watt uh, inverter on the outside of it. It has its own fans and everything. And then I also have another fan, a DC fan right in here that has a temperature control uh, as well that will go to evacuate the stuff inside the box. I've got some additional holes right around here um, for input, you know, or for to draw in air. And then I've got three of the mini, the Power Queen 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour mini batteries. So it's three, it'll be uh, wired in parallel and this will be a 300 or a 100 amp hour, no, excuse me, 300 amp hour uh, system. So we've got uh, two bus bars. We've got a negative bus bar here, positive bus bar here. And then this is, let me slide this in here. <clears throat> that is gonna be the top part of it. It sort of has most of the components and everything. So this is a smart charger, so I can plug in uh, just AC wall power to charge it. Then we have the breaker for the uh, charge controller to be able to cut off the solar panel power if we need to. That'll feed right into here. This is the charge controller. It's a Bouge RV 40 amp charge controller. Um, We've got an uh, on-off switch to be able to power off, you know, everything. Um, and then we've got a relay, or to be able to power off the inverter. And then we've got a relay there, and then we've got a fuse block, and, oh, and then uh, the shunt for monitoring the batteries. And it's, I'll be honest with you, it's, this is a, uh, Kind of a pain in the ass. It's a little. It's a. It's a lot of work to get it all like situated out. Figure out where everything's going to sit so that you can run the wires right and make sure all the components are working together and all that kind of stuff. And um, I have quite a bit of knowledge about electric, electricity, electrical components and all that kind of stuff. But I'll be honest. Uh, it's a little bit. It's it's quite a bit like. I'm going to keep this from falling. Hang on a second. Um, it's a pretty big project. When you compare this to um, what it takes, you know, versus like just buying a, like that 1600 from um, Yolanis, the 1600 watt one from Yolanis, it's way easier to just do that. <laughs> and and I, I think when I add up the cost, we'll see. I didn't, I didn't buy the cheapest materials. I wanted this to be a, a good quality system with good quality components. And so I didn't get the cheapest materials that are out there. You could definitely make this box for cheaper, but I wanted stuff that was gonna be a good quality and was gonna be reliable. And, um, and so like that's why I went with a little bit bigger charge controller and a good uh, sine, uh, pure sine wave um, inverter. And from a, a manufacturer that's got a pretty good reputation, the G and Dell, they're pretty good. They're still made in China, but they're made pretty well. Um, so, you know, I just wanted, I want it to be a, a pretty good system. I'll have to add up all the costs and everything like that that I've got for you. But when you consider all the hours that it's taken in like finding the right box and doing the research on finding the parts and like yada, 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 like all these different things, it's, it's not worth the time. 
and to buy all the copper for it and the fittings and the then you got to get the tools and and all this kind of stuff like it's a fun project but if your time means anything to you like then then this you're not you're not money ahead <laughs> like anybody who tells you that you are that you're saving money they're just they 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 must not value their time very much um or or something or they're just really bored or what because this it takes it takes quite a lot it takes quite a bit of time if i had to guess i would say that i've probably already got i'm trying to think i've probably put with the research and everything probably 15 to 20 hours and i'm still not even done yet I don't know. Maybe it's not quite that much. It might be a little less. Um, it's probably close though. It's probably close and I, I'm pretty handy. You know what I mean? Like I, I do a lot of projects and all that kind of stuff. And so, uh, if you're not, if you're not somebody who's super familiar with this stuff, then I wouldn't recommend taking something like this on because you want it to be a safe thing. And especially with like this, we've got three 100 amp hour batteries that is, um, if you do something wrong, if it's wired wrong, or if it causes a fire or something like that, it could be a, a significant, you know, hazard. Now the lithium ion phosphate batteries are not quite so much of a danger as the old lithiums used to be. But anyway, it, it's a, it's a pretty big project and I'm not necessarily trying to steer people away from it. Um, but I'm just trying to, I guess, get you to realize, like, be careful and don't use cheap components because you don't want to have to rely on something when the power's out and then just use, you know, cheap garbage components and then it doesn't even end up working for you anyway. Um, so just know what you're getting into. I think that a lot of, a lot of YouTube videos sort of present this as, oh, you just get some batteries and an inverter and charge controller and throw it together and it's all, it's all good. Well, I, I mean, if you want to do it right, there's a little bit more to it than that. Um, and you know, I'll be honest with you hundred percent. I'm not even hundred percent sure I've got everything on here laid out the right way. I think I do. Um, but <laughs> we'll see, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, and there's definitely more than one, one, one way to skin a cat, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I guess I just think that if your time means anything to you, um, it's, it's just so much easier to just buy a mid-sized, you know, solar generator for anywhere from 600 to a thousand dollars right now, you know, something like that. And, uh, and have the capability already built in and, and it's just done. And then you can move on to some, the next project, you know, like the batteries in this alone, you know, the three batteries were 700 bucks. Um, and the, the charger was 70, the shunt. I don't remember for sure. I want to say the shunt it's got Bluetooth capable. I think it was like 50 bucks. I'll have to look. Um, the breaker here, um, I don't remember. It was probably 10 or 15 maybe 15 or 20, I don't remember. The, this uh, little uh, DC board, uh, power distribution board, it was probably 15 or 20. I'll, I'll put the actual prices on there. Then you got the relay and the switch. And then the bus bars were expensive. They were like 25 bucks each. Um, the fan was another probably 20 or something. I don't, I don't remember. And then the, the inverter was, it was a couple hundred bucks, I think several hundred more. So I'm, I'm probably close to, I mean, if I got, if I put my time into it as well, I'm probably up to like two grand, um, and just components. I'm probably sitting when you consider the polyethylene that I had to buy all the screws and the copper and the wire. I mean, I'm probably sitting close to $1,500 into this, something like that. I mean, for 1500 bucks, I could have bought two of those uh, Yolanis solar generators or two of the Blue Yeti AC-180s. Um, 
it's now this has more capacity right it has 300 amp hours of capacity and it has 2200 watts that it'll do on the inverter so it's bigger it's a bigger system um but hi is it worth it i just don't really know i don't i don't know if it is and maybe that's just me getting uh, frustrated with working on it <laughs> or something along those lines i don't really know um you know it's it's hard to say um but and you got to you got to do a lot of research you got to you know like look and see what your uh cable capacity is i started out using uh four gauge wire and then when i looked it up uh i thought that the first time i thought i was good when i looked it up again i realized nope four gauge is not sufficient enough to handle up to 100 amps and so i had to go to uh one ot and so then I got to order in more ring terminals and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, um, there's just, there's a lot, there's a lot to it all. And so I don't know if I would encourage people to necessarily to do this, this method. If you're super handy and you got lots of electrical stuff around, you got some wire already, you got a box you're going to put it in and all that kind of stuff, then maybe it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Or if you're going to just buy like the EG4 server rack battery and then take an EG4 inverter, wire those together, you know, or something like that, do take that route. That's a little bit easier route. You don't have quite the form factor, you know, or it, it's not going to be, you know, as, as probably easy to tote around and all that kind of stuff as this will be. Now, obviously this is just going to be, uh, indoors. It's not going to be, or in or outdoors when it's sunny, it's not going to be waterproof because the inverter is on the outside and I've got holes, you know, um, where for the air input and in, intake and, and, uh, exhaust and all that. Um, but it'll be fairly easy to store, you know, in my basement or whatever the case may be and, and be able to use it whenever uh, power goes out to power my refrigerator. That's the whole point with this one is it's got a lot, you know, it's got the, um, how many watt hours is it? 1280 times three, whatever that is, um, over 3,600 watt hours of capacity um, at 100 amps. So yeah, I think I might've said that wrong earlier. It's a, it's a 100 amp hour system I always get this confused. It it'll it does a hundred amps. The battery management systems on those batteries is only a hundred amps, up to a hundred amps. But the capacity, because it's wire, wired in parallel, is like thirty six hundred or thirty seven hundred or whatever watt hours. So uh, it's not a thirty six volt system or anything like that. So uh, basically, it'll it'll run, um, you know up to 2,200 watts, 2,000 or 2,200, whatever, for a longer period of time than some of the other ones. Like the uh, Yolanis only has a 1,536 watt hour capacity. Whereas, so this one will run more than twice as long as that one does, um, you know. So anyway, this is just a look at what I've got started here. Um, I'll show you once it gets all wired. I'm waiting on those uh, ring terminals to come in to be able to wire all this, wire all this up. Um, this board was uh, this was pretty expensive. This was a a piece of HDPE, and it's three eighths HDPE high density polyethylene, um, and I think that worked out really well. To mount it, it's got plenty of stability and all that kind of thing. I used uh, some number 10 screws to screw everything down and with the nylon uh, nuts on them. So no vibration or anything is going to, you know, let anything go loose or whatever. So I think it's going to work pretty well. But uh, it's been of a bit of a pain. So anyway, that's the video. I don't know if I did another video in the first part or not, if I posted that one yet or not. But. This is either part one or part two, <laughs> probably part one. Um, and then I'll show you once it gets all wired, what it looks like and how it works, all that kind of stuff. So you can be looking forward to that video coming here before too long. Anyhow, let me know in the comments. Do you think it's easier to just make one of these? 
Do you think you save money when you consider your time? Because I don't. Um, maybe I just work slower. I don't know. Um, or maybe I'm a little bit more particular in, in how it's laid out and all that kind of stuff. I just want to make sure that it's all going to, you know, be good and be safe and, you know, not going to cause a fire or something. Um, but to me, it just seems like it's just easier just to buy the ones that are pre-made. Uh, the, the price on those has dropped so much because there's so much competition on the market right now that, yeah, it just seems, seems easier just to buy them. But Anyway, if you, you know, have a particular need with you want more capacity and all that kind of thing, then there might be there might be some reasons why you want to do it yourself. I mean, who knows? So anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. All right. Take care, guys. We'll see you in another video here shortly.